Uh, so, uh, we're actually going to film several videos today, but we'll start with a really simple hairstyle. It's going to be a low bun, and we're actually going to take some hair from the front and do like a design here. So, uh, I'm going to show you what products I'm using. So, the main secret of the bun is that you need a hairnet. Hope it focuses. It. And then we will need the, oops, the elastic scrunchies. These ones. And we will need bobby pins, which look like these, the small ones. Um, larger ones. And um, there's also these curly ones, which are sometimes really good because they can hold um, a heavy bun and you can use less um, bobby pins. Um, to hold the hairstyle. So I'm going to start with making a ponytail, but first I'll take the front section and separate it so that it doesn't go in the ponytail and we can do designs with it later. I'll start from the front and I'll make a part over here and over here so it's kind of like a triangle and um, I'll pin it up so that when I'm working on the rest of the hair it doesn't get in the way. Actually I would spray my hair a little bit because it helps um, collect all the um, Fine hairs. And so this, you're just the first step you're doing is you're kind of getting rid of the flyaways and getting yeah, and just the hair sort of all in one. One neat ponytail. One neat ponytail, right. So that's the, I guess that's the first really key step is to making sure that you're getting all the hair in one place and in one direction. because it's holding the hairstyle. If this ponytail is loose, then all the pins that go under the uh, elastic, they're going to fall out, like as soon as you start dancing. So this is what a hairnet looks like. It has um, like an elastic all around it, and you can put your bun in here. So what I do with that is uh, well, actually, I'll tease my hair first because um, I have really long hair, but it doesn't have a lot of volume. So I'll take a brush like this for back combing. It has like little teeth going sideways as well as down, and it helps to like add more volume when you're brushing back. But you can actually even use this one; that works fine as well. So pretty much you can use anything for teasing your hair, yeah. right? It's as long as you have some hairspray and um, a comb, you're good to go, right? slightly brush it um, so that it looks neater, but it adds volume. And why do you want to add volume to the hair? Um, what is that really used for? Well, because if I just use my ponytail, it's really slender because mm -hmm. my hair structure is very fine. So I feel like I don't have enough of a bun. Mm -hmm. And I like larger buns, yeah. just for my personal taste. Like some people might have a lot of hair so they don't have to back on it. Um, usually people with long hair don't have to, mm -hmm. I just feel like I can use more volume for my bun. Okay. So what I'll do is actually we'll gather one of the ends of the hand nut um, onto a bobby pin. And I just kind of like do this and gather like several, uh, maybe like a half an inch worth of net. Uh, not just in one place, but like this. 
So what I'll do is I'll, I'll just put it right over my um, elastic over here under the uh, like under the elastic, and I put the entire ponytail into the, the uh, hair. Because my hair is so long, it's actually it folded in. But that's great because uh, then I ha don't have to worry about the long ponytail. Right, and the um, little ends sort of sticking out. Yeah, exactly. So it's just it actually gives me more volume. Or if I wanted to, I can actually make this. Uh, I can use this end of the ponytail still, even though it's within the netting. Mm -hmm. I can style with it as yeah. well. Um, so I think the most simple one that I can do is like a simple knot. Uh, just basically when you tie a knot with this piece of string. Mm -hmm. That's the same idea. Um, so I would go like something like this. So you're just taking the hair and you're wrapping it around on... Um, yeah, just wrapping it around the... Um, the elastic, the right? Elastic. Just the elastic ones over. Sometimes it takes like a little bit of uh, going back and forth and taking a look at what it's look like. Mm -hmm. it looks like. So I would normally sit uh, with my back to... Do you want me to hold the mirror for you? No, it's fine. Okay. I'd actually just like... See guys, you're learning how to do this right by yourself with no one to help you. Yeah. And sometimes, because hair doesn't behave the same way every day, like I never really know what my hairstyle is definitely going to look like. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of play around and see what the hair wants to do today. Mm -hmm. And the hair netting makes it a lot easier to sort of see how this, the structure of the hair is going to lay and it's easier to sort of mold it on um, because if you just leave the hair on its own you're going to have a lot of sort of frizzy ends that are going to stick out so you want to make sure you use a hair nut. What I think is very important is when I actually pin it up I try to not squish my hair so like I wouldn't do this. Mm -hmm. I try in fact to give it more volume so I try to pin it in such a way that and I don't see what I'm doing right now so I'm just kind of doing it by feel and then I'll see it in the mirror and I'll correct what I need to. Yeah. But I'm trying to pin it up in such a way that it has a, as much volume as possible. Mm -hmm. under, I pinned it up, like over here, like this, and the elastic is holding the pin down, and then this ponytail goes open about this way, and I think I had like a little bit of hair that's loop looping in inside the uh, elastic, so I did like a little loop here. Um, at the moment I don't have a lot of pins in it, so when I'm getting ready for a competition, I would use got to be glued and I would just spray and spray and spray until it feels really hard and then I would add extra pins to it. And so when you're when you're pinning things, do you want to make sure that you're always pinning to the hair tie? Um, I think that you have a main structure, so your main big bobby pins would go under the elastic, mm -hmm. uh, but then the rest they can go and they would actually um, go across the other pins. Okay. So the rest don't have to, but you're going to end up with so many pins in your hair. Um, I would use something like 20 to 30 pins in my hairstyle sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes like uh, if one hair strand is not cooperating because I do it for myself, I can take like, a long time to figure out what would look better. 
it's much easier when you do this on somebody else. So, and I would put the pin like this up and sticking out because I don't want to squish my hair. Um, that way the design is going to be 3D. Oh, that's cool. Right, so you're not like really, um, you know, like making it stick to your hair. Right. You want it to pop out. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. And so what are you going to do after? Are you going to take the bobby pins out? Yeah, I'm going to spray it. And oh, once, I see. Once it's hard, I can take the bobby pins out and put them back in, but so that they're not noticeable. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to spray this. And got to be glue, it really holds it so that it doesn't move, even if you have a collision mm -hmm. uh, during the dance competition and somebody, I don't know, sticks their fingers in it because that happened to me once. Oh, really? And like in your hair? Yeah, because the girl was holding her frame yeah. and her fingers were out like this and uh, basically her fingers got in my hair. Oh, goodness. But, um, it stayed, so it was good. by drying your hair is you actually literally take um, a, hair a hair dryer and that makes it harden a lot faster. Yeah, because your hair kind of feels wet after you use a lot of um, hair spray and I use a lot. <laughs> My hair literally feels like a helmet after I'm done. And so now you can just take out the hair pins and then your hair stays in place. That is so cool. Yeah, so the hairstyle is done. I think this is a very simple one um, because it just um, I used one tail, ponytail. I would sometimes split the ponytail and do designs with several. And this is just like three strands of uh, three parts of hair uh, on the front. So sometimes when I do a more complex design, I would leave more hair on the front. So I would have more pieces of hair to work with in the front. And uh, in the back, I might uh, split my ponytail in several ponytails and use several um, hair nuts so they go like different ways. And it's going to give, uh, give more volume and more interesting design. But I think this is a very simple hairstyle to start playing with. Um, basically, it's just the ponytail, and you bend it any way it goes in the hair nut, in the top, and do whatever you feel like on the front. But just, you know, get rid of the flyaways, and I think that's the main thing. So I hope you enjoyed the, this uh, tutorial, and uh, we're going to go ahead and film another one, and we'll do the high button.